Hello everybody, my name's Darren, welcome back to the Kilowatt Challenge. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday morning and the grid is down. Nobody in the area has any power. Dead. 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 Nothing's working. Dead. Christmas lights. Winter lights as they are now. Dead. In fact, the whole top part of the village is dead. The grid is down. It's been down for an hour now. Everyone's got their log burners on and fires on to keep the houses warm in the winter. And the power's off because there's a construction site just over there and they're gonna replace a cable or something. So nobody has any electricity at all, except us. <laughs> Come on. Dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have lights and we have power. <laughs> Step it up. And now the ultimate test. I've got my toast, but can it make coffee? So I know we're only playing, but actually I've learned so much during the last couple of days. Um, and this has been for me a really worthwhile exercise. Yeah, the grid is off, nobody has any power and you know, I'm plugging in toasters and coffee machines. It's not exactly the whole house, is it? But what I have learned 
is absolutely precious to me because I have learned so much about fusing, um, cable diameters, um, battery capacity, different battery chemistries. Uh, for example, yesterday, last night, when the original batteries just spectacularly failed, I did a lot of reading on lead acid batteries and what is the discharge levels, etc. How to test them. Um, that was all really um, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, and I know I'm, you know, we got some toast and we got some coffee and stuff. <laughs> um, we're having a bit of fun. It's a bit of YouTubeness, but at the same time. This array will do me for a little while longer whilst I continue to process the, uh, the cells. Um, one thing I am slightly disappointed about is I ordered from Amazon um, a consumer unit, some DC um, uh, switches, DIN, ma DIN mounted switches, etc. They haven't arrived yet um, and in fact they haven't even been dispatched yet. So if I do decide to keep these batteries what I'll do is you'll see a small consumer unit um, go on the wall with uh, relevant um, DC switches and their uh, rated fuses in there as well. I've learned so much during this power outage. Um, I, yesterday was a long day and this morning I've just been running around obviously. Um, I mean, my father-in-law, he has uh, an apartment on the side of the house and um, I've got a car battery and inverter and I've got his TV going so he's connected to the local TV aerial and stuff so he's dead happy because he's watching the skiing on a Saturday morning when no one else has got any power. Yeah, I've got the Christmas lights on outside and Victor's been text messaging me, no doubt wanting to come around and steal some power. Well, you're not having any, Victor. <laughs> um, we're expecting the power to come back on well, very, very soon. Um, but it's been a, a great exercise and I highly recommend it. Turn your power off. Uh, it really makes you think about your setup. Um, this is just R&D. This is research and development. Uh, once I get the uh, big uh, batteries sorted out, the 18650 DIY Powerwall um, built, then obviously I'll have a properly integrated on-grid, uh, grid-tied inverter. At the moment, this is just a two kilowatt uh, toy, basically. I have to say, if you do have uh, a non-grid-tied um, inverter, um, and you're in this situation whereby the power company is going to turn the grid off. Do not, under any circumstances, be tempted to connect your inverter to your domestic wiring or in turn to the grid because the network engineers who are in the streets working in the power cabinets on the power poles will be electrocuted. That's serious. That's potentially fatal. Uh, illegal. Um, and if nothing else, stupid and extremely dangerous. So never connect your inverter to your fuse board or to a socket uh, unless it is correctly certified, it is grid tied, and it will automatically turn off uh, the feeds to the grid if the grid goes down. That's critically important. So that's it for another one. Back to normal, I think, after all the, the shenanigans we've been doing. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you had electricity all weekend. And we'll see you very soon. Thanks. See you later. Bye-bye. 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 Oh, oh, oh. I've been dying to do that. <laughs> see ya. Oh, it's dry. <laughs>